Hi guys, how you doing? Um, me again, obviously, you're still watching, so thank you very much for that. Right, so, so far, um, I've done a lot of sitting around really, um, learning a few knots, which I may make a video on later. But yeah, um, I'm now working on my project. Um, essentially, if you have a billy can and a fire, what you want to do, put your billy can in here and have it sort of over your fire if you like. Um, I'm working off this. Obviously it's still a work in progress. But if you see my spike here, it goes in like so. And then you raise it or lower it depending on where the fire is. I'm sure there's many other ways of doing this, probably even more simple, but it looks really quite, as I say, elegant. So, yeah, just wanted to practice it. I don't have a billy can, not yet anyway. Um, I'm at the beginning of my adventures, as, as I've said. So, you know, um, yeah, I'll get it at some point. But up until that point, it's all about learning the bushcraft. But yeah, essentially, you need one of those, and then you need one of these. Um, drawn off the spike on this end, uh, cut off the spike, it's not very elegant. I'm using this. I don't have an axe, I don't have a hatchet. I've gone very light. I mean, I do have axes and hatchets, it's just I tried to go as light as possible this time around. Um, and before anybody says, oh, you shouldn't put your knife in, in wood, it's going to blunt the, the blade, I'm not. See that? I didn't even push. No pushing. There's a groove in there already, so I'm just resting it in there. So I don't know if you can see, let me bring it right into you. Oh, don't even have to zoom. So hopefully you can see, I've got a nice, nice point in there. That should fit in really quite nicely. Um, try and put a bit of a groove at the top here, just for it to slot in. And then you just, hey voila, that simple, that beautiful, that elegant. Well yeah, I'm going to cut this down a little bit more, possibly to about here. Do another spike and then I'll spike it into the ground. And then, uh, yeah, simples. By the way, the sunglasses today is A, because the sun's up there, B, because I always like to look cool, and C, for this particular job, they're protecting my eyes in case any wood chips that flies up. you a basic working idea of it. I mean, should have gone with a longer stick really and truly. But yeah, what do you do then? Hang your jerry can. And I think it's definitely worth making a few notches. I think I may do another one here. I may do another one here. So as I can hang or hang, depending on how, how high the fire is. Decided to make them notches now, just to kind of show you what it's all about. Um, there's probably easier ways, probably a better ways of doing it, which no doubt in the future I'll learn. But we can only work off what we know. 
and I know this. So this is how I'll do it. Please feel free to comment and tell me how you would have done it better. Please don't be offended if I tell you I don't care because quite frankly, and this is in all, all honesty, and I'm not being rude, I do like people give me advice. I really do. It helps massively. But we develop our own ways of doing things. And I don't think there is a wrong way of doing things when it comes to bushcraft. I mean, of course there is wrong things, you know. Like running in the woods with a knife close to your eye. <laughs> don't know why I use that as a reference. But yeah. Um, but yeah, you've got to find what works for you. You know, if somebody could do something and that looks brilliant and fantastic and you try it and it just doesn't work. So you adapt. I think that's what bushcraft is all about, really, for me. It's all about adapting to, to your situation. I mean, some people call it survival, some people call it bushcraft. You know, there's lots of different names. Lots of different ways. I've forgotten what I'm saying. <laughs> Um, what was I saying? Yeah, there's lots of different ways and means of doing things. And if you find something that works for you, do it. You know, as I say, I have no doubt that I'll have every man and his dog watching this saying, Oh, oh look what he's doing, that's so wrong. Oh. Okay. But it works for me, so it can't be wrong. Uh, it may not work for you. Your way may not work for me. You know, so offer me advice. Absolutely, please do. I want the advice, I need the advice, I'm just starting out. But for those that are like myself, or just starting out, it really is a case of finding what, what suits you best, what method you can work to. But yeah, I don't know if you've seen what I've done. Just kind of gone nearly three quarters of the way through. So you can see here, hopefully, it's nearly three quarters through. And now I'm just going to keep on shaving it down until I have said notch. So I'm just going to do it one more time, just for that extra notch. Don't know if you can see it, but there's a nasty knot there. So I think I'll go underneath, uh, underneath the knot, because um, the knot is so hard to get through. So we do it one more time. the best one. One, two, that's that's your arm, right? And three. That simple, guys. Really is that simple.
Right, so first up, what do we have here? Ha ha ha. As we've already seen, uh, my pot holder. A few new additions now. Add in this block here will stop it from sinking and will also allow you to adjust the height of the actual anchoring pole. Um, pretty cool. We've also seen my tripod, which I was very proud of. And then this is the table I made yesterday and I've transported over here. Um, it's not tied up, so I'm not gonna sit down on it. I just wanted to show you guys. And look, I'm in the process of whittling. I'm whittling a spoon. How fantastic is that? All right, I'm gonna go and have a cup of tea. Cup of coffee, don't drink tea. I'm going to have a cup of coffee. See you in a bit. Hi guys, just thought I'd show you the tripod in its full glory, in full use. It's not too bad if I do say so myself. I'm really quite happy with it. Mose looks eminently better. So much more sophisticated. But hey ho, my first attempt, I'm really quite happy. I've also, because I forgot to bring um, the, the little poles, I've improvised a bit of, well, I've just um, cut off a bit of wood and it's really lifted up my net. I mean, last night the net was trying to kiss me goodnight. So it's worked out really quite well. As we can see, I'm happy with that. So yeah, last night, really quite sad. Want to stay another day. I think throughout the course of today, each one of us have turned around and said, shall we stay another day? Shall we stay another two days? Mo said, shall we stay for another month? <laughs> Say hello, Mo. Hello, Mo. <laughs> so yeah, this is us. We're gonna sleep, one more sleep, and then see what happens in the morning. Um, Ronnie's taught me loads. I was going to say, I didn't want to say it in front of him, but he's a really good student. He's done well. He's remembered all the knots that I taught him. He's even learned a bit of navigation. <laughs> um, if I die and... Well, if my battery dies, not if I die. Like, Christ, well, if I do die, thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Um, tell my dad Give I loved him. more subs. Yeah, yeah. And, and this man. Um, no, don't he don't want subs I want subs um, and also anybody who wants to send me any hammocks DD you know if you want to or a top I need a 3x3 top we see my top it's not fantastic um, look at this one now this is a bad boy if I ever did see one how big is it Mo? about 12 inches <laughs> was you looking at me have a piss? <laughs> Your top. It's a uh, DDXL. Did 4.5 by three. 4.5 by three. I mean, you, you you could get married under that. You could have a reception. I haven't asked. But guys, thank you very much for watching. Um, please like, share, subscribe, um, spread the word. Ronnie Woods is out in the woods. He's out on tour, um, open to invitations, sort of. <laughs> Guys, have a great one. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. I feel pretty and witty and gay. And I pity any girl who isn't me today la 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 i feel charming oh so charming it's a running how charming i feel move your ass dipshit and so pretty that i hardly can believe i'm real la 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 See that pretty girl in the mirror there. What mirror where? Who could that attractive girl be? Who, which one where? Hum, such a pretty face, such a pretty face, such a pretty face, such a pretty face. Yes. 
I feel stunning. You feel stunning. And entrancing. And entrancing. Feel like running and dancing for joy. For I'm a...